Well, the times are changing for one of America's great industrial companies. Back in 2021, General Electric announced it would split into three units. Its stock was a chronic underperformer, and it was time for a reboot for a business that was founded in 1892. Now, CEO Larry Culp said he would create three industry-leading global public companies. Healthcare was first up, and energy arm GE Vernova is set for a spin-off early next year. Now, as the final split nears, the other remaining un unit, aviation, looks like a clear winner. So was this all part of the plan? Yahoo Finance's Ines Ver is here to break it all down for us. Hey, Ines. Hey, Rochelle, that's right. And yes, it was all part of the plan. Larry Culp's five-year turnaround strategy plan and that next step, the really last step, I would say, is the spin-off of Vernova, its renewable energy unit, which is expected to uh, list next uh, year at the beginning of the second quarter of next year. But let's back up for a second to talk about how the company's latest quarterly results uh, came in and profit beat Wall Street expectations coming in at 82 cents a share uh, for adjusted EPS. Revenue uh, coming in at 16.5 billion, that was better than what the street had been expecting. The aerospace business, by far the best performer. And Larry Culp during the earnings call said that GE Aerospace continues to experience rapid growth driven by demand in commercial engines and services. Also, while navigating uh, supply chain issues, the company's year-to-date commercial engine deliveries are up 30%. So that's significant. And Culp also noted GE's growth opportunity when it comes to defense, uh, talking about a deal with the U.S. Army. And it, the company lifted its guidance for the year, lifting its earnings per share for the full year guidance from its previous target. Now, this all, of course, culminates with this five-year plan that I've been talking about, that the company has been shedding assets, it's been divesting businesses. Back in 2020, it culminated the uh, sale of its iconic lighting business. It also spun out its healthcare unit at the beginning of this year. And Wall Street has liked this, Rochelle. I mean, Wall Street has been rewarding the stock. If you take a look at the stock year to date, by the way, it's one of the trending tickers on Yahoo Finance, number two trending ticker. Year to date, it's up 73%. If you look at a full one year uh, chart, you'll see that it's up about 100% from exactly one year ago. So definitely Wall Street were rewarding this stock, rewarding the slim down of what once was a huge conglomerate. And is this analyst reaction surprising? I mean, especially when you look at the stock performance for these three parts of the business. It's not that surprising. I mean, analysts had been expecting, this has been a very laid out plan. Analysts had been expecting uh, these businesses to be divested. They've been expecting aerospace will be what GE will focus on going forward as of next year. It'll be GE Aerospace. It'll still be listed on the New York Stock Exchange as GE, but it'll really be that aerospace business that the company is focusing on its best performer. And right now you've got most analysts that have a buy on on this uh, stock and 10 analysts that have a hold on the stock. I think it's 12 buys, 10 hold, zero sell. So certainly uh, the analyst community, Wall Street, is bullish on this stock. At one point, it wasn't so much. Then Larry Culp came in, did that, that turnaround plan. And now uh, the stock you've seen, it's had a good performance this year and last year.